Hi, Duncan from 65 here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you attach items when you're using the Gmail app and you're composing an email to someone where you need to attach a PDF or an image or something similar to that. And we're going to do this on uh, an iPhone. So I'm going to show you that using the Gmail app. So the first thing you're going to do is open up Gmail and then you're going to go and compose a message. So from here, uh, what you do is you click on the attach button in the top right and you'll see a few things come up down at the bottom. Uh, just an ordinary day in Australia. So I was taking a photo of a toilet here and you know, you can make of that what you will, but it was full of beer cans and bottles, which was a bit rubbish, kind of amusing at the same time. So as you saw, what I've done now was just attached an image and that's baked it in to the page. So um, when you send that, it'll be embedded in the image body. And that, and that isn't very useful for a lot of people. So what you can do is click on that and then click send as attachment and it'll pop it down the bottom there. And then you can still write the content of your email through uh, the, the, the body and having that down there as an attachment. All right, so that's the first thing. So that gives you access to your photo roll. That's nice and quick. Then you've got the second section is attachments. And now attachments will show you uh, the most recent kind of files and stuff that you have on your computer. If I click on attachments, it'll actually default or will open up your files um, app uh, and show you what you have available. So this one um, has opened up iCloud Drive, which as you can see, I don't use and I don't recommend you use if you're already using Google Drive, it just you will get confused <laughs> having too much stuff in things called drives and uh, shared across the web. So now you can see on my phone under locations there, I've got um, iCloud Drive, I've got Google Drive on my phone and so forth. Favorites, I've got downloads. So if I was to click on downloads, for example, there's a, an item there, I can click on that to again, attach that. And you'll see that that PDF is now down at the bottom attached. That one came directly off my phone. Uh, if I uh, click on attachments, I can also go back and I can click on Google Drive and that gets me into my Google Drive. So I can now select a file from my Google Drive and that will again, attach it at the bottom of the screen here. And then the last bit is uh, again, really it's a shortcut directly to your Google Drive, okay? Um, so you can come into here and then you can go and find again, just really literally that same file that I've just done and it'll show you and attach it at the bottom. If you wanna remove one of those, if you wanna remove something, you just click on it and click on remove. Uh, so if you make a mistake, you can remove it from there. Now, one uh, caveat here is that whilst you can attach stuff from Google Drive, uh, let's do an example of a an actual Drive um, document as opposed to something else. Uh, so that one's a Google Drive document. And what that will do is embed a link to it in Google Drive. And when you click send, it will, uh, look through the accounts and the people you're sending it to and try and decide if it's able, if that recipient is able to see the document. So you may need to add explicit share permissions for them, which is definitely recommended, um, rather than publishing the document and, and leaving no permissions on it at all. So that means the user will need a Google account in order to sign in, which is fine. Um, a lot of people already do, so that, that bit's very easy. But you'll notice there is a slight difference here in that we've got um, the kind of Google Drive link uh, and uh, as opposed to what we've got at the bottom, which is the actual attachment, that's the physical file itself. So one another advantage of doing it this way is that you're not using up space by making a copy of the file and saving it inside of Gmail. Um, so in terms of space allocation, if you're on a budget with regards to being on Google Workspace Business Starter, you only get 30 gig worth of space. If you start duplicating files into Google Drive, uh, sorry, from Google Drive into Gmail, and attaching it, that's sending the physical file as opposed to a reference to the file, which is what we've got at the top here with that brand guidelines. The only other caveat I've got for you today is that you can't attach things on the mobile app in Gmail uh, from shared drives. So if you're on an enterprise Google Workspace or you're on Google Workspace Business Standard or above um, and you have shared drives, you won't be able to do that. Uh, you would need to open up your Google Drive app, download it to your phone, come into Gmail and then attach it as a real document off your phone. So that is the only disadvantage here. Whether Google have that in the pipeline of things to fix and make available, uh, I don't know. That could be a limitation of iOS. And uh, I'm gonna go and have a look at that and see if you can actually do it on Android. You may well be able to, I'm not sure. 
So there you go. So that's how you attach uh, items from Google Drive or from your phone onto an email when you're running Gmail on your phone. If you found this useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.